Hello everyone, I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Welcome. Nice to see so many of you here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on colouring bugs. I thought it would be something interesting that is in most of the colouring pages all over and you can maybe use it on any page. So I've chosen different colours variety so that we can do interesting colours with the bugs. So the first one that I will be colouring is called a rainbow scarab, but it's a female. So it doesn't have the horns on. So I use the colours of the rainbow scarab. So firstly I'm going to start with the lightest colour and today I'm using a Faber Castle Polychromos for the first time in a long time. Hi Anne, hi Rina, hi Berta, hi Mom, welcome. Hi to everyone if I missed you, sorry. Hi Kat. So first of all, I'm going to start with the light because the Faber Castle Polychromos is not as forgiving as the Prismas. So to keep the lights in the lighter areas, I'm going to start with my lightest colors and work it through to the darkest. Hi Michelle. Hi Barbara. So the first color is white 101. Hi Rain, welcome. Hi Connie, welcome. Yeah, many of you asked me to use the Faber Castle Polychromos on some of my um, tutorials, so now I'm using them a bit again. But it got, uh, I had to get used to them for a little bit again after using Prismas for such a long time. L let me just zoom in and we'll do one bug at a time. Uh, next color is light cobalt turquoise and it's number one four one five four. Hi Dan, welcome. So when colouring bugs, you want to keep the texture. So the first one that we're doing is not as shiny as the rest. 
So with doing the first one, it's not as shiny, but it's got very reflective colors because of the hard shell. So that's why there's a play in color. Hi Lizzie. Welcome. So the next one is Helio Turquoise number 155. So now I'm just adding some of the dark parts so that we don't lose some of the detail. And when coloring bugs, it's all about all the details that you can put into it. The more detail you add, the more effective the coloring will be. So yes, it is a bit finicky, but it's all worth it at the end. Next is black, number 199. So I'm coloring the eye, but just on the one side. Hi Paula, welcome. Hi Pam. I'm twisting my pencil because I want to keep the sharp edge of the pencil. So once you draw the line, then I twist it to go to the other side, just to keep the tip as sharp as possible while doing it.
Hi, Jonah. Hi, Abby. Welcome. Okay, so now I've put in my dogs. Now we can move over to our lighter midtones to add to the colors. Next up is Cadmium Yellow Lemon 205. So there's lots of colors going into this one bug. And this will help to brighten it up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jonah. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. And now I'm just extending the lines, but not all the way through because we're going to use uh, another uh, yellow for that. That's just, just where I want it to be bright. Next is Cadmium Yellow 107. Hello Michelle, thank you Pam. So now I'm just slightly extending where we've put that lemon. So I'm going slightly over the lemon and then extend it with the yellow. Next is grass green 
or one six number one six six. And this is medium to hot pressure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jonah and Kat. So next is Indian Red, number 192. Now we're extending some of the shadows, but with warmer tone. And now I'm going in little circular movements because the texture is quite coarse um, on the um, uh, hard shell of the little chest area of the bug. And she has little ridges in a, a shell, or I don't know what to call it, for lack of a better word. So I'm just enhancing the shadow areas in the little grooves. Next is magenta one three three. So 
So now I'm slightly darkening the um, where we put the Indian red just to blend it in a little bit and soften it. Now to enhance the shadow here of the little grooves I'm adding a little bit of And don't worry, this bug is the one that takes the longest. The others don't take as long to colour. <laughs> Do they eat your plants? We don't have any of these ones here in South Africa, not that I know of. I haven't seen one, but they look pretty. Thank you, Jonah. Oh, thank you, Kat. Next is dark red, uh, number Next is Scarlet Red, 118. But I, I haven't seen our South African dung beetles are mostly black, I think, or the ones I've seen.
Next is Dark Chrome Yellow 109. Now this one, you almost fill in all the little gaps. We'll add a little bit more color to it because with the Faber Cartels you can't layer as much as what I normally do with my Prisma. Uh, next is oops, Mauve 249. Yes, Jonah, I'm in South Africa. Next is dark cobalt green, one, five, eight. So now I'm slightly shading to get the shape. So I'm just going over all the colors to get the, my shape. Next is Cadmium Yellow 108.
and this is medium to hard pressure because of all the layers underneath you need to still get the color in and soften it here and there so what I'm doing is I'm going over all the lines that I drew and to soften the dark lines Good morning, Janine. Welcome. Next is light folio green 162. Now we're working back some of the greens that we've lost. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. Okay, next is Caput Mortium Violet 263. Next is white 101. So just here and there you need a little bit of white to get the shine before we lose all the space where we can add it. And I'm adding it where the light will catch it, even though it's not a very shiny bug. Next is folio, folio green, 
161. I don't know how to pronounce it. You must excuse me. Not used to pronouncing the pharmacosults. <laughs> Next the scarlet red again, 118. Now I'm just using black 119 just to enhance some of the shadows. Oh, I see I've got a white spot. Next the scarlet red, 118. I'll just fill it. Hi Lu Lucia. Welcome. Okay, so that's the one bug done. Let's move on to the next one. Let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer for this one. So the next one is the normal scarab uh, beetle that I will do in purple, some blues and greens. Okay, so first I'm using white 101. Okay, let's just carry on with where the whites are. And to make the leg shiny, I'm adding a bit of white. Because that one's got hairy legs and this one has shiny legs. Hi Andrea, welcome.
Hi, Laura. Welcome. Next is cadmium yellow lemon. I just want to swap my two lights. The one just died. Sorry. A technical problem. There we go. All sorted. Okay, cadmium lemon, ye uh, uh, yellow lemon. Okay, so as you can see, I've only um, added a little. And this one is casting a shadow on the page. Can you all see okay? Oh, <laughs> Andrea was just saying this is not as forgiving so you have to put all the colors in the right places you can't just mix them as you go along. Okay so next is Mauve uh, 249. Hello Jennifer, welcome. So this one is more of a shiny bug. So that's why we need to add the whites as a, uh, as a uh, very light highlight. So to create shininess, you need dark dogs and light lights. And one color that's not in my set of uh, polychromos is lilac. So we're just going to do without it. Next is Magne Mag Mag manganese violet 160.
Next is Red Violet, 194. Next is Violet, 138. Hello, Lulu. Welcome. Bam, I agree. I need to really look to see what's standing there and what number it is. It's almost like the print is too close. Next is Grass Green, 166. I wish they would print all the numbers in black and the black dark ones in white. Uh, next is light folio green 162. Next is Deep Cobalt Green, 158. So now I'm just giving it some texture to the bug. Little bit of lines. Next is blue violet, one, three, seven. Next is Cobalt Turquoise, 154.
Next is Gross Green, 166. Next is yellow lemon, or cadmium yellow lemon, 205. Next is Helio Turquoise, one five five. Hi Nana, welcome. Yes, it's a bug's life. Uh, next is black. And now you can really darken the shadows. So now I'm um, giving it, uh, I'm coloring with hard pressure. Uh, next is light cobalt turquoise, one five four. Now I'm going to just add some white to get some of the... Bye Bertha, thank you for being here. See you again next week. White 101. So now I'm just going over the purple that we've added so it will be more of a lilac -y color. And rework some of the highlights.
And that's it for the purple bug. Now let's move over to our jewel scarab beetle. There we go. Now on this one, he's like shiny. It's almost look like our saundiasis, but um, let's just get some pencils. The jewel scarab beetles comes in amazing metallic colors. It's golds and silvers and bronzes. So it was difficult to find find a one that I like the color, but it's all up to you. This is just a guide. You can really use whatever colors you feel like doing. So this one is a really shiny one. Uh, next is, oh, the next pencil I'm using is black, uh, 199. So this one I'm going to color opposite way by first adding the darkness of where the shine will be. So normally on your lighter side where the sun uh, or the light is coming from, because it's a rounded shape, it will still pick up a secondary shadow. So you need to add that shadow in. Oh, and its eyes. and the bum. Next is Indian Red 192. <laughs> Thank you so much, Abby. But so many artists draw bugs that I've seen. So you must just play and have some fun with them. So I'm adding some warmer tones here because I don't want it just to be like a plain like gold or light gold beetle. So I'm adding some redness to it just to warm it up. Next is green gold two six eight.
Emma's and Demi. Welcome. Hi Mel, welcome. Next is olive green yellow wish one seven three. So now I'm adding a little bit of green. Now I'm going to add burnt ochre, 187. And this one is yellow ochre, 183. Hi, Diane. Now we need to add a little bit more yellow. So I'm using dark cadmium yellow, 108. And we put the white is the most important part of this shiny beetle because this one is really shining. Next is raw amber, 180. So I just want to soften some of the dark parts just so that they can blend in softly. Next is white, 101. Oh, thank you, Barbara.
next is dark chrome yellow 109. And then yellow ochre, 185. Now just to soften around the area, the light areas, to fill in all the gaps. Then take your white again. White is 101. And really with, whoops, with hard pressure, without breaking your pencil tip. Let's just darken that area again. Where I've broken the tip. And I need to I need to lighten this one section here, that dark part. Hi Sherry, welcome. Next is burnt ochre, PC one eight seven. I'm just lightening this section and this one is cream 102 just so that we get a lighter tone of the color for more detail. Okay, and now it's just black, 199. So put in your shadows on the legs, only on the one side. And in between the segments. Now I'm just darkening the one spot here and one spot there so that the shine really comes out. And then just add these feelers and the eyes. Okay, and the last one is our ladybug. I love ladybugs, so I just had to draw one. They're my favorite bugs. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> Thank you, Jonah. <laughs> the bug show. <laughs> so next up is a ladybug. 
So everybody knows it's black and red, but there's different color tones in the red. Because it's rounded, the light catches and you need to show that in the color changes. So, let me just... Let's just get all... Sorry, I'm just sharpening um, the pencils that I've used in the previous bugs. Okay, so first we start with the black. Morning Pamela. So first of all we start with the black. So instead of making black dots, the dots is not all the way black because of the shine on the top of the little shell or what do you call them? Is it shells? Oh wonderful. Jonah. The back one will be black and the side one will be black because that this is your darkest area. Then this top one will be the hard covering of the bug. Then, see, there I've left a little dot because the shine will, will change the color on the black. No, Abby, there's no faces in this one. I'm giving you a small break from the phrases. And then we have little legs. And then the little torso section of the bug. My, f I think it was my first, no, not my first, my second birthday cake was a ladybug. Thank you, Lily.
the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Okay, we're busy with the abdomen for now. So first we're going to add some white. So the white dots, I be, I'm just adding them in so that we don't lose them. And then I've got dots here. And we've got some white there. The ladybug's got two dots. Yeah. And on the legs. And the top. Top here. Okay, so now we're going to start. The top section of the abdomen of this bug will be more orangey in color, even though the bug is red. So first I'm going to use cadmium orange, triple one. So around my white dots, I'm adding the orange and then here the edge it's almost like the edge of the bug comes out a little so the rim is slightly flicked up I like that and here where the two wings comes together next is scarlet red 118 oh thank you Paula Now I just need to add in my cream dots before we carry on with more reds. So cream 102. They've got little cream dots here where the wings are attached to the thorax. And on the face, or the head, oh, thank you Paula. So next, now we need to make it red because now it looks like orange. Next is deep scarlet red, two, one, nine. And now we start darkening the red.
next is dark red 225 so we're still going darker and darker she must come alive Next is Scarlet Red again, 118. I need to shade in this rim before we carry on. And yeah, soften it a bit. Uh, next is the cream because it's slightly shade fading into the red these two little marks next is black I'm just making this dot a little bit bigger Now this one that we haven't completed, I'm adding grey to. First is warm grey, 3272. So it's grey and then I'm going to add Van Dijk Brown, 176. So you don't have a flat black on this one. Next is Red Violet 194 and now you really get another dimension of the shape of the bug. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Abby. Thank Jonah. Uh, next is just the white. I want this dot to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just enhancing it a bit. And this is hard pressure again, but don't break the tip. And black and if you really want it still to stand out a little bit more all you need to do to all the whites okay I'm using ink you can use a gel pen You can just uh, whiten it because the white in the Faber castles is not as white as a Prisma. Oh, 
whatever you use to do your dots or highlights or whites And that's it for today. We can do a page giveaway. And that's all the bugs. Let me just zoom out so you can see all of them. Uh, zoom out. So let's do a page giveaway. Oh, sorry, last pencil, black, 199, I see I forgot to add the black here. You can choose a number between 1 and 100. Thank you so much everyone. You can choose a number between 1 and 100. Is all the numbers in? The lucky number is number 10. So it's closest to the number. It's not over or under. It's just the closest to the number. Who's the lucky winner?
out. Um, the winners can pay me And you can choose a page from my Etsy store. You can choose any page from my Etsy store. Oh, thank you so much for being uh, everyone for being here. Thank you for my mods, Abby and Mom and Bertha, which has left already, but she popped in. Uh, thank you for each and every one that came out to watch the stream. I really appreciate it. Patrons, I'll see you in a little bit. Yes, Renee, it is available from my Etsy store. Lizzie's um, the patrons e elephants all all of you um, in a little bit. Good night everyone.